Welcome to Gem U, Gem Shopping Network's very own educational series designed to help our customers expand their knowledge in the vast world of gemstones and jewelry. At Gem Shopping Network, education has been the cornerstone of our business for over 18 years because we believe that an educated customer is our best customer. After each lesson, be sure to visit gemshopping.com and test your knowledge by taking our quiz and qualifying to win a $100 Gem Shopping gift card. Today's lesson will be presented by our resident gem professor, Alan. Alan has over 40 years of experience in the gemstone and jewelry industry and has personally owned and operated several high-end jewelry stores. He is a graduate gemologist from both the Gemological Institute of America and the Gemological Association of Great Britain and was a gemology professor at Tulane University for over eight years. And now, here's Alan. Hi folks. I'm Alan, and again, welcome to another class of GEMU with GEM Shopping Network. GEMU meaning GEM University. We're here to impart knowledge and information. If you've seen the other couple of shows, I think you found it fun. I hope you did. I hope it's informative. That's what we're trying to get across to you all. A knowledgeable buyer is a comfortable buyer. You, you spend your hard-earned money. You want to know what you're getting. And if you have that knowledge, you're comfortable. Today, we're going to cover an area and a gemstone world under quartz. It's remarkable. Quartz is one of the most abundant, in fact, the second most abundant crystal on the planet Earth. There's only one that exceeds it. That's something called feldspar. The quartz family is a delicious family. It's a hard stone. It's seven on the hardness scale. Remember we talked about the mode scale of hardness. Seven is hard and durable and highly wearable. One of the facts about the quartz family, there are two different structures in the quartz family. One is called a macrocrystalline. It's not confusing. And one's called a cryptocrystalline. Macrocrystalline is discerned by the naked eye, such as amethyst, by citrine or smoky quartz. The second family, all within the quartz family, is what they call cryptocrystalline and that's identified with a microscope. And some of the stones that are carnelian, agates, jasper, those materials that you see throughout the world in jewelry, more easily worked with, they can be carved. Now, one of the factors that I find interesting uh, in amethyst, and we're gonna kick it off with amethyst because it's the most valuable, the most prized in the quartz family. During Greek times, they felt that it would prevent drunkenness. Now, if you imbibe a little bit, and they say if you drink out of an amethyst goblet, it'll prevent intoxication. I'd like to try that to see if it works, but I don't have an amethyst goblet. I don't even know where you can get one. But amethyst is one of the most popular of all stones. The deeper the purple, the richer the material. It's very royal. It's a very elegant color. And that, that deep purple comes from a mineral trace element of iron. And it's just a vibrant, there's what they call the Rose of France, which is a very pale color. But the amethyst, the deeper the color, the more valuable. In fact, some of it is used by the bishops of the church. It's called bishop's grade or Siberian grade. It has that deep, deep purple with a cast of blue. Hard to see it, but it's there. And amethyst is an exciting, exciting stone. In fact, one of my daughters, it's her birthstone, which is February, by the way. And it was one of the first gifts Barbara and I gave our, uh, our middle daughter. You can't say middle daughter, they don't like that. And then the second stone I think is a very popular one, it's called citrine. And it comes from a French word meaning citron or lemon. Now citrine comes in a variety of tones. There's a mine in Brazil called the Rio Branco mine and that comes in a kind of a, a golden brownish tone, a richer color. Then there's one, the Rio Grande Sul, Sul meaning the sun, it's a bright yellow. But the one most sought after, the one we look for, very hard to find, is one called Madeira, like the wine, Madeira. Ah, it's elegant. And it has a deep, deep orangish yellow tone, almost a reddish tone, and exciting. And one of the important factors of quartz is it's not just used in jewelry. We use quartz in navigation. We use quartz in watches, watch crystals, and part of the battery. And we use it in electronics. 
So interestingly enough, like gold is used in a lot of electronics, so is quartz. Citrine, it's November's birthstone. It's used in jewelry in beautiful pendants. It's cut in many different ways. Citrine and amethyst and smoky are among the most popular gemstones, not just for their beauty, because of the cost value. They are bargain stones for getting the very best of the best. Folks, I want to thank you for this class. If you turn to our website, gemshopping.com, again, we have a little quiz. Have fun. See if you remember some of the things that I told you. If not, don't call me because I'm not going to help you. Stay tuned. We've got some other shows coming in. Look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you very much. This has been another installment of Gem U. Now, visit gemshopping.com and complete your quiz. Each completed quiz will automatically enter you into a drawing to win one of five $100 Gem Shopping gift cards. Join us every Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern for a new lesson at Gem U. Also, join us every Tuesday at 1 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern and Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern for a refresher course at Gem U. And check gemshopping.com to review each of the lessons and for all of the details.